If you find yourself overloaded with email and you don't really know how to get out of it, one solution is to set up email forwarding. I'm Jill Duffy for PCMag.com and this is Get Organized, a weekly series of articles and videos about digital organization. And today I'm going to show you in Outlook on a Mac how to set up email forwarding and talk a little bit about why you might want to do it. So let me just quickly backtrack and show you what I did. I started under Tools and then I went to Rules. So email forwarding in Outlook is considered a rule. So you choose the account that you want. I'm going to choose Exchange and then you hit that plus sign to create a new rule. Unfortunately, between the Mac version and the Windows version, the Mac version of Outlook is actually a lot easier to use to set up rules. So if you need instructions for setting up the Windows version, uh, see the article that comes with this video because there's a complete list of instructions. The wizard in the Mac version is actually very self-explanatory. So you'll see a bunch of options and you kind of set up a command. So if it meets this criteria, then do this action on it. The action of email forwarding, which is sometimes called email redirecting, basically says if an email meets this criteria, then send it to another account and I'll tell you which account. It could be your account, it could be an assistance account, maybe a colleague. So you can start to imagine all the powerful things you can do. For example, say you're going to go on vacation and you want to make sure that emails from your boss are redirected to your personal account because you might be checking your personal account more frequently. Um, it allows you to look at emails without getting bogged down in the work nonsense that you don't really need to see. So if you have them redirected to your personal account, then you can see those messages from your boss right away. You can turn on email forwarding or any rule with just this enable button. So it allows you to turn it on when you're out of office, to turn it off again when you're back in the office, or however you want to set it up. So here's a more specific organizational tip. I think the rule name is really important because rules can be a little bit confusing. So I'm going to change this rule name to be something very explicit so that every time I see it, I know exactly what it is. For PCMag.com, I'm Jill Duffy helping you stay organized. You can email me anytime at Jill underscore Duffy at PCMag.com.